Hello, and welcome back to Near Craft. This is going to be an interesting one, for certain, because I have a lot of things to show you already, but the main goal of today is going to be what I am dubbing the Monstrosities, which, if you didn't know, is a little bit of a throwback to uh, what Dodo asked me if I was going to make when he first helped me make this bone meal machine. And today, it is happening because we are addressing the sheep problem. <laughs> we have a lot of them. Twelve, I think I counted? Let me get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then there's one over here? Yeah, twelve. Twelve in total. And, ow, ow. And <laughs> I have taken the Moss Mama's crystal, which was the only thing left floating of her over there, and I've put it. I've put in it. I've put it. I've put it. I've put it right here in, in front of the panic shack, and in between these two sheep to give you an initial demonstration of what we're going to do. So now, stand back and witness this. The sheep have been slurped into the crystal. And now, all we have to do is take the crystal and uh, deposit it somewhere where I would like these sheep to be reformed. So this is the general idea, right? We have plenty of sheep, 12 sheep, which I think means uh, six monstrosities. Monstrosities, not mon, moss, moss. So, uh, I'm gonna take this to a dear neighbor's base and deliver upon them something which I'm sure they will know is a gift from the mama. You know, sometimes, sometimes I sit and think about just how, how strange this server has become. And at the beginning, I was just trying to build a nice little hut for myself right over there. And, and now... I'm working for a deity that people blew up and ate and redepositing giant sheep in, in its image. So, you know, I guess the moral of the story is you never know what opportunities life will bring you. So here we are at Velxa's new base, which is this, which is looking phenomenal so far, by the way, but I'm not here to compliment uh, my fellow near crafters. I am here to I was dreadfully close to saying torment them, but give them a gift. And so I have placed the crystal here, and I am going to deposit the first monstrosity right here. All we need is a flash of magic from the crystal, and... Here it is. The first monstrosity. <laughs> I really like it. I like it so much. Um, I haven't seen it at nighttime yet, and I'm hoping that... Um, oh, Orb is offline, so he's not going to sleep. So when the sun sets over there, we'll be able to see what it looks like at night, which should be pretty cool too. It's got cute little ears, about twice the size of the sheep, and it's very well lit up, and also the entire top of it is covered with moss carpets. Now, to be clear, a lot of these are going to be at other people's places, and if they remove them, that is completely okay. I don't mind in the slightest, because they will very much be in the way, which is kind of part of the point. But for the, the amount of time that they exist, they're beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> Pretend that you did not see that, because <laughs> these weren't built. I, I really want to give each of them a cute little name, though. Like... I, I don't know, I can't think of any right now. But they each should get a name. 
is all I'm saying. Okay, the sun is going down. Let's give it another couple minutes. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, it looks amazing. This is incredible. All right, time to, oh, I, I'm getting attacked. Time to do more. Every single sheep has been absorbed, except for one. And that is this big one over here, which I have a special plan for a little bit later. Also, see these, these the dripstone? These were placed in a few places to emulate poop, which only reinforces my opinion that this, this dripstone block is the worst block in the whole game, little rabbit poop, sheep poop looking block. Anyways, um, we have five more monstrosities to build, so, I, I mean, not build, not build, but summon. And once they are summoned, I will show them to you, which will for you be immediately, I guess. And here they are. The monstrosities are complete, except for one. This one right here. The only sheep remaining on the peninsula, and obviously the biggest one. So, I have something special planned for this one, and we are going to time lapse this, so let's begin. Listen, listen, I've just gotten back on here to record what I've done, and I want to show you about it, but like, I'm gonna put a screenshot in of what just happened. So this happened, and then I reloaded, and now... <laughs> this is the most cursed thing I've ever seen. Turns out that uh, the error was just because I didn't have my shaders up to date. Oh well. A little anticlimactic, but that's okay. This looks so cool. I get too distracted. I need to stop and focus. Um, <laughs> this is the Mossy Moth Monstrosity, the one that I was most excited about building, and I am so happy with how this turned out. I had this idea to do this before the sheep had even been placed here, so it just kind of worked out perfectly. Uh, because I had thought about like maybe putting pillars under the bridge for suspension or making it a suspension bridge and in the end I wanted something to be holding up the bridge like this and so this is kind of the perfect excuse to do it with the sheep and so now we have seven monstrosities across the continent I mean we'll see how long all of them last the other ones might get taken down soon except for the one at the junk drawer that one probably won't get taken down uh, but this one won't get taken down either, because, I mean, this is my own home. I can do whatever I want. Uh, unless people come to eat it again, like they did the Moss Mama. Well, let's not think about that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm super happy with it. Little claws grabbing at the bridge down there. I really like the face, too. Like, just... Ugh, there's something about it. Anyways. I have more things to show you that I have built off camera. In our starter home, I have begun an interior. And I only have the first floor done right now. Putting in some windows, you can have a little sneak peek. <laughs> um, I haven't added anything up there, not even window panes. And the first floor is all I've managed to get done so far, but I'm really liking how it's looking. So this is the inside. 
This is what you see when you step in. We got this really cool roof and this is the dining room. And then there's this divider wall, which I really like this dividing wall because it really does look like this used to be one big open space and then they put this in later and I, I'm very happy with that. If we go up here, there's a sort of pantry area. I can put some food on here to make it look like some stuff is drying out. And then this is the kitchen. And I'm trying to make a lot of what I'm doing right now a little more immersive because that's really fun for me. So as I continue to build stuff, I also want to I want to make the area out here actually look like it's under construction as stuff gets built. And so Oddly enough, before I actually build anything more in this base, I want to build stuff that looks like things are being built. If that makes any sense at all. But I think it's a cool idea, and so in here I want to do a similar kind of thing where instead of just having one big giant sorting system, the way that a lot of Minecrafters do, I want to have stuff in like the proper places that make sense if that makes sense like food in here you know what I mean and then maybe in here some enchanted books and some books and quills and stuff like that and this room also I haven't really focused on this one yet I really like it too the ceiling slopes upward here there's a sitting area really like this bookshelf design I did it in um, one of the hermit craft videos where there's sort of trap doors sticking off the bookshelves as shelves for other things and I really like how it looks then there's this which I really like too also like this going down and then this going the opposite direction like it a little desk and then there is an upstairs as well oh this is kind of like a fridge I guess maybe I don't know, a rustic fridge. Upstairs there is nothing yet, just that staircase, but this is the general layout we're gonna have. Of course I can keep pushing stuff back that way into the cliff as far as I want to go. It's not like I'm limited to this space up at the front, but we're gonna have a second story here, and then there's gonna be a third story up there. This is probably gonna be a lot smaller. I don't know what we're gonna put in all this yet. Obviously there's gonna be a bedroom, but uh, we'll see what other rooms can fit up in there. So yeah, very, very happy with how that's going so far. But there is one other thing that I have to show you. And it is in the nether. This place looks so different without all the sheep. I kind of got used to them. So the nether hub contest over here in the eastern nether hub because Dodo has created a contest for us to build potential designs for another hub that he might implement into parts of this nether hub. Uh, it's right where I, I've gotten lost. I'm lost. <laughs> um, where am I? Oh, here we go. This is perfect. This is a very dangerous area to be though. So last time we were here, I think this was the only other one up, I think. There's so many monsters here. So I have done the service in my own, which I'm sure you can tell which one it is. It's very on brand for me, isn't it? I have done the service of making it spawn proof on the top, which I, I'm just putting this out here. I think that should earn me the vote um, by itself. Just saying. Anyways, this is Velx's design. The basic idea is we need boats, soul, sand, or soil, or whatnot, and rail. We are supposed to have that in all of our designs and around this shape. I think we can make it a little taller, but not wider. I think that was the rule. So Velxa did this one, which looks awesome. <laughs> Kaylee did this one. Uh, I mentioned this in the last video, I think, but Kaylee's got this cult church and uh, if you didn't see the live stream that I did about the egg vent, we all got to witness firsthand what that church cult egg thing is about, which will be in a video as well, and it will be coming soon. So this came before the egg vent and uh, was a little bit of a precursor. <laughs> and then there's mine. And I tried to make mine a little more detailed in that I have all of these things at the bottom, right? But then I also have another portal in here, unlit, but just so you can see what it would look like inside of this. 
<laughs> and then there's also a door on the side because I've added a door recently to my own end of the nether hub, but it's really helpful to have that little exit if you don't want to go through the tunnels, but you just want to fly over top of it or you want to go somewhere outside of the hub. And so this is what those doors could look like too, which I think looks super cool. So that is my submission. Then there's one other thing right here, which I haven't actually seen for myself yet. <laughs> so this thing that Kaylee built, right, in advertisement, in advertisement of the egg, I guess you could say, it's kind of fortuitous because that's the portal right there to the island where all of this strange stuff has taken place that again if you haven't seen the stream you will know about it soon in response to the stream <laughs> mag put this stuff up if this gives you any indication of what happened those are all of the things that i have to show you oh my god i'm lying those are not all the things I have to show you. I have to show you one more thing. I have done the first challenge of Orbeven's games. Orbeven is making this game show, I don't remember how many games are in it, but basically a bunch of us complete our own submissions and then they're gonna get voted upon in the end. And I did the first one a while back actually, and I just forgot to keep the recording. So when I emptied out my old recordings, I emptied out that one too. It's very, very unprofessional. But I can still show you what my result was. Ooh, this is looking a little fancier since I was here last. I'm so into the stuff that Orbeven's doing. So we were given, I believe it's an hour to create a theme song for the game show. That is the first test of the game show. This is super cool. I've not seen all of these yet. I'm going to ask if I can put other people's songs in my video because I, I don't want to spoil anything if I'm not supposed to. But if, if you hear them, I have been given permission to. So, gosh, this place is really cool too. And there's prize stands. I love this. He's put so much work into this. So are these labeled? It doesn't look like they are. This one is mine. Let's just click listen and uh, see what these sound like. <laughs> that one's fun. I like that. When I was here, I think mine might have been the only one at the time. I'm pretty sure it was. Let's have a listen. I like that one. That's cool. That's very creative. Okay. The next one. That's really good. Wait, this one might be my favorite. I don't know whose this is, but that was really good. Let's hear this one. That one's really good too. People have done an incredible job on these. One more to listen to. That one's really good too. I don't know what the other challenges are, but I know that a lot of them are designed to test your different skills. So I assume that they're going to be quite different from this. I know other people have started some, but I have yet to. So hopefully I can do that very soon. And that is about all the time we have today, but as I was about to log off, I went AFK for a minute, and I logged back and heard chicken noises everywhere. And I found some of these eggs because there's... <laughs> there's one right here. And I don't know where the rest of them are, but I hear them everywhere. And I don't know if... If, like, Kaylee dug under the ground to leave chickens after the egg vent? Like, where... Where are they? In addition to that, Kaylee logged off and back on and look 
at their skin now. They are chicken. Fred and Bubbles, you can have these. You may eat the eggs. I don't want them. Those didn't go into water. Let me try let me try these again. Eat the eggs. Everything about the egg vent and the island will be coming next, and it's a lot. It was, um... You know what? I'm not gonna say any more, but you'll... you'll see. Now, thank you for watching the video, and if you enjoyed it, then please do subscribe and share and like and comment and all of those good things, and I will see you and the mossy moth... wait... Yeah, Mossy Moth Monstrosity. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Bye.